Hello, Mr. Rube of Rube's Crab Shack in Emmitsburg. I do have a question. Why is it that the legs, let's see, let me show you one. Okay, legs like this. Um, all of the legs like this, okay? Not the claws, just the legs like this. And I'm going to break a couple off and show you guys something. Why is it that all of the legs are dry? They're bone dry. They have no moisture in them at all. I do think I know the reason why, but I do not want to say it just in case I'm wrong, but I do think I'm correct. Um, he said that they steam all of the crabs fresh and they do not reheat their crabs or anything like that. I'm kind of wondering, do they freeze them? I'm just wondering because you cannot keep crabs alive. I, what do you keep them in a tank or something? And they swim around until you fish them out. Uh, like, how do you keep them keep them alive? So that's my question. Um, so I'm gonna break one right now. And you see this? Okay, this meat looks wet, but it's not. Now I'm gonna pause and break this open. Okay, so here's the leg. Now I'm gonna break it. Try and break it more like in half. Now you hear? You hear how crunchy that is? You see how stiff this is? Look, it doesn't give at all. Okay? At all. This is so dry. Now, look. Look how dry that is. You see that? There's no moisture at all. Look. It's like leather. Look. It's, it has no moisture. It's just all the legs. A lot of the legs on the crabs are really, really, really super dry. And I'm trying to figure out why. Why is that? Other than that, uh, the crabs are really good. Now I'm going to break one open so that you can see right now at almost 3 a.m. Let's see what time it is now. It's 2.38. So here, let me show you. Okay, so can you... Oh, darn. Okay, can you see that? So it's 2.38, okay? All right. Okay, so um, I'm just getting started too. Um, and here I made my special sauce with vinegar, hot sauce, and ketchup, and a little bit of garlic. So now I'm gonna break this baby open right here and I'll show you. Okay, so those of you who want to know how to check your crabs while you're still at the establishment, I strongly suggest that. So don't bother about breaking the legs off. You don't have to do that. So then you just clear off the dead man fingers. I'm a very neat crab eater, so I place everything that I remove, um, I place that inside of the shell here, the top, okay? And then once I do that, and then I break this off. And I just like to be neat. I like my area where I eat to be really, really neat. So, um, because I'm just, I have always been like that ever since I was a little kid. I didn't like a whole bunch of shells piled up around my food. So now, I'm going to break this in half. Alright, so you can see that I broke that in half. And now I'm going to try and do this with one hand. Oh, you know what? I bought one of those things that you can hang it around your neck. Like, you can hang the phone around your neck. I should hook that up. Hmm. I bought a whole bunch of those things as gifts. But I should break one out and use it for myself. Okay, so as you can see, once you clear out everything, you're looking at beautiful meat. And I like the mustard. Um, especially when the mustard is pretty and golden. Um, that is poop, but I'm just saying, it's mustard, okay? Um, it's whatever you want to call it, alright? I grew up calling it mustard, and also, I do know it's the poop, because they did tell us it's the poop. Um, my granddad, he ate everything. He ate the dead man fingers. He ate everything. He ate the, the 
organs like I don't know if those were intestines or what are those other things that once you break the half open it has a little cords in there like the intestines or something it looks like intestines but anyway my grandfather ate everything I my grandfather ate the shells like see this piece right here just broke off that's a piece of a shell my grandfather ate all of this okay here this is what my grandfather ate my grandfather ate all of this okay this looks like intestines you see that the cord and stuff does it look like umbilical cord or something so my granddad ate all of this dead man fingers look dead man fingers he ate all of that but I didn't and I hated to eat crabs with my granddad because he would just make you nauseous he make you want to throw up so now there's a half that I like I cleaned out both of them so you can see so you don't have to go through all that though to um check the meat once you break it in half the only thing you need to do is just check one side because if one side is mushy both of them will be so it isn't necessary to check both of them so if you just break open a half clear out and just check your meat so if your meat is not flaky and it's mushy like rice you see how flaky this is look at that okay you can see it see the definition in it okay but if it was mushy all of this would be pasty and mushy like mashed potatoes like I said before and like overcooked rice all right and if you overcook rice and you cook it long enough it'll look like grits okay because there are people who don't know how to cook rice so there you have it and I purchased these at Rubes okay in Emmitsburg all right for those of you who wanted to know so there I told you and I'm not being selfish because people were calling me and telling me I was selfish okay I'm not selfish I just told you okay goodbye bon appetit for all you seafood lovers and for those real seafood lovers every Friday is seafood day night evening morning whatever and Saturday is also seafood Saturday for me Tuesday and Wednesday are my favorite TV nights so when I can yeah, I'm trying to get back on my schedule Tuesday and Wednesdays are returning as seafood Tuesday and Wednesday so and by the way I lost 24 pounds in three weeks because I ate crabs every single day and I didn't eat anything else well any of the junk and all the other stuff that I was eating I do eat a lot of salads um, but it was something about eating the crab meat and that's and I don't like to eat other stuff when I'm gonna have crabs because I don't like to mix the food so and I like to save my appetite for the crabs in the evening and usually it's late in the evening and it's after 9 30 10 o'clock by the time I start like now this is really late because I'm just getting started at two o'clock in the morning but I usually get started around 11 45 11 30 so um usually it's a little bit earlier so we're talking I'm two hours behind so I'll probably get in maybe five or six and then I'm gonna call it a night take another shower and that'll be it and I'll start again tomorrow afternoon smooches